The discovery of the vacuum diode by Thomas Edison was not a result of intentional pursuit, but rather a byproduct of his relentless experimentation while perfecting the electric light bulb. During the late 19th century, Edison was determined to create a reliable and long-lasting electric light source that could replace gas lamps. His focus was on developing a practical incandescent light bulb, which required a filament that could burn brightly without quickly deteriorating. This led him to experiment with different filament materials and designs. Eventually settling on a carbonized bamboo filament housed within a vacuum sealed glass bulb. The use of a vacuum was crucial as it prevented the filament from oxidizing and burning out too quickly. It was during these experiments that Edison noticed a peculiar phenomenon. He observed that when he placed a metal plate inside the vacuum bulb, a mysterious electric current seemed to flow from the hot filament to the metal plate even though the two were not physically connected. This curious effect puzzled Edison as it defied the conventional understanding of electricity at the time. Driven by his characteristic curiosity, Edison conducted a series of tests to explore this anomaly. He experimented with varying the voltage and changing the arrangement of the components, meticulously documenting his observations. Edison found that the electric current only flowed in one direction, from the negatively charged filament to the positively charged metal plate. This unidirectional flow of electricity was unlike anything he had seen before. He later patented this discovery in 1884 as the Edison effect marking the first documented observation of thermionic emission where electrons are emitted from a heated material. However, Edison did not fully understand the scientific principles behind his observations. At that time, the electron had not yet been discovered and the underlying physics of thermionic emission were unknown. Edison viewed the phenomenon as a curiosity rather than a technological breakthrough. He initially saw no practical application for Thurlot and moved on to other projects. Despite this, Edison's meticulous documentation preserved the findings for future scientists. It wasn't until years later that British physicist John Ambrose Fleming revisited Edison's work. Fleming recognized the potential of this effect and utilized it to invent the vacuum tube diode, which could convert alternating current to direct current. The, the process that led to the discovery of the vacuum diode exemplifies Edison's approach to invention. An unwavering commitment to experimentation and observation, even when the immediate application was not clear. Edison's ability to notice unexpected results and his determination to understand them showcased his innovative mindset. This discovery was not a planned invention, but rather an example of how accidental observations can lead to groundbreaking advancements. Edison's work on the vacuum diode laid the foundation for modern electronics, influencing the development of radio, television, and early computers. It demonstrated the importance of curiosity-driven research and highlighted how even unintended discoveries could have far-reaching impacts. This journey from puzzling observation to technological revolution illustrates the dynamic nature of scientific discovery, where persistence and curiosity can turn serendipity into innovation. The impact of Thomas Edison's discovery of the vacuum diet is profound as it laid the groundwork for the development of modern electronics. Although Edison himself did not fully realize 
the significance of his discovery, his observation of the Edison effect became a pivotal moment in technological history. The vacuum diode's ability to control the flow of electric current in one direction revolutionized the field of electronics, influencing the design and function of a wide range of devices that we rely on today. Initially, Edison's primary goal was to improve the electric light bulb. However, his observation of a unidirectional flow of electricity between the filament and a nearby metal plate inside the vacuum bulb revealed a phenomenon known as thermionic emission. This effect where heated materials emit electrons became the basis for the vacuum diode's operation. Although Edison did not pursue its application, his findings were later revisited by British physicist John Ambrose Fleming. Fleming recognized that this one-way flow of electricity could be harnessed to convert alternating current AC into direct current DC, leading to the invention of the first true vacuum tube diode in 1904 this innovation had a transformative impact on the early electronics industry. The vacuum tube diode became a crucial component in radio receivers, enabling more reliable signal detection and amplification. This advancement significantly improved long distance radio communication, paving the way for global broadcasting and laying the foundation for modern telecommunications. The vacuum diode's ability to control electric current also influenced the development of early telephone systems, enhancing the clarity and efficiency of voice transmission. Beyond communication, the vacuum diode was instrumental in the evolution of computing technology. It served as a fundamental building block in early electronic computers acting as a switch to control the flow of binary signals. These diodes were used in logic circuits and memory storage systems, enabling the development of more complex computing operations. As a precursor to the transistor, the vacuum diode marked the beginning of the digital age influencing the design of electronic devices that are now integral to daily life, including televisions, radios, and computers. The impact of the vacuum diode extends beyond its initial applications. It inspired further research into electron flow and solid state physics, leading to the invention of the triode vacuum tube, which could amplify electronic signals. This advancement revolutionized audio technology, enabling high fidelity sound reproduction and giving rise to modern music and entertainment industries. The principles observed in the vacuum diode also laid the groundwork for the development of semiconductors and transistors, which eventually replaced vacuum tubes due to their smaller size, greater efficiency and reliability. In essence, Edison's accidental discovery of the vacuum diode triggered a cascade of technological innovations that shaped the 20th and 23rd centuries. It exemplifies how curiosity-driven exploration can lead to breakthroughs with far-reaching consequences. The vacuum diode not only solved practical problems of its time, but also inspired generations of scientists and engineers to push the boundaries of eclectic technology. Its legacy endures in the digital devices that power our modern world, underscoring the profound and lasting impact of Edison's pioneering spirit.